Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that Infosys DSC and SP exam dates have been announced. The exam is on 13th of July. Okay, so here I am with the preparation series wherein I will be discussing, I will be making at least three to four videos for different different questions which have been asked previously in the Infosys DSC and SP exam. And guys, also in this video, I will also be telling you about the preparation material that you can use for your preparation for the last minute preparation okay because see three coding questions are asked in this exam and this exam is not at all easy okay so for your last minute preparation strategy you will have to solve previous year questions so in this video only i will be telling you about the preparation material that you can use for your last minute preparation okay for revising the concept and for seeing the previous year questions so make sure that you are watching this video till the end because Previous year question also I will be discussing and the material also I will be telling you how to how you can use that material. So guys now let's start this video before starting the video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because two to three videos I will be making which will contain the previous year questions okay and also join this telegram group because every update about different different companies uh, different different profiles which are getting hired I am sharing on this group all the relevant links you will find in the description box make sure to hit that like button before moving ahead in this video so now let's start the video okay so guys first of all i will be discussing the question then the approach of this question and finally the coding part of this question so make sure to watch this video till the end the question here is you are given a string s containing lowercase alphabets you are allowed to remove at most one character from the string your task is to check whether the string can become a palindrome after at most one deletion what do you mean by at most one deletion? It means that either you are removing zero characters or one character. Okay, so in simple terms, you are given a string containing lowercase alphabets. You have to check whether that string can become a palindrome or not by removing at most one character. It is possible that string is already a palindrome, so you don't have to remove a character. Okay, so then it means you are removing zero characters and it is possible that after removing any one character in the string, the string becomes palindrome originally it was not but after removing one character it is becoming the palindrome okay so this is also possible so now the input format is the first line contains the string s the constraints now see guys see this exam is really tough okay the constraints matter a lot so you can see here the length of the string is 10 to the power 5 so what is the maximum time complexity in which you can solve this question it is n log n okay because you have to keep the time complexity less than 10 to the power 8 so therefore if n is 10 to the power 5 so maximum time complexity in which you can solve it is n log n okay it will be near to 10 to the power 8 only okay so s consists of lowercase english letters only sample input 1 so you can see here we are given a b c a so can can this string be converted to palindrome by removing at most one character answer is yes why because if we will remove this b so we will be keeping ACA so ACA is a palindrome I hope you know what a palindrome is so therefore by removing at most one character this string is becoming a palindrome let's see explanation is given here okay next is sample input 2 so ABC this is a sample input 2 can by removing at most one character this string can become a palindrome answer is no because even if you will remove let's suppose we are removing A B and C is not a palindrome if we are removing B uh, a and C is not a palindrome. If we are removing C, A and B is not a palindrome. And if you are not removing any character, then also this string is not a palindrome. So I hope now the question is clear to you. By removing at most one character, you have to make this string palindrome. Is it possible or not? So now let's move towards the approach of this question. Okay, so guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have Infosys DSC SP preparation material. In this particular preparation material, we have discussed around 100 plus previously asked question of this exam. See, I have told you many times that this exam contains three coding questions and they are not easy at all. The best way for your last minute preparation is to prepare from the previously asked questions. You can see here we have given two docs, part one and part two, each containing 50 plus previously asked questions in this exam. If I will show you the sample of first doc, you can see here we have given the proper question proper answers constraints also and coding part also we have given and explanation of the each and every test case is also given so this can be a very good way for your preparation okay last minute preparation you just have two to three days before your exam will be starting 
okay similarly for document 2 also you can see here we have the proper question given input format output format and the proper answer is also given so in one document python related answers are given and one document c++ answers are given but do focus on the logic only okay constraints are very important in this uh, exam and optimized solutions you will have to give for passing all the test cases okay so if you think this material can help you in your preparation you can check out the links in the description box and it is at a very nominal price of rupees 49 because lot of effort have gone in collecting the previous year questions and finding the correct optimal solutions for them and giving you in this doc okay the links you will find in the description box now let's continue with the video okay so now let's see the approach of this question so we will be using the two pointer approach for solving this question what we will do let's suppose this is the string that is given to us and we have to check whether by removing at most one character this string can become a palindrome or not so what we'll do we will take two pointers one will be pointing to the first index and one pointer will be pointing to the last index now we will check whether the current in first index uh, element is equivalent to the last index element is it the case here the answer is no see in palindrome what happens the first character and the last character are same the second character and second last character are same similarly the third character and third last character are same this is what the palindrome is okay but here see the first character and the last character are not same it means the original string that is given to us this entire string it is not a palindrome but can this string become a palindrome can this string string become a palindrome so how it can become a palindrome now by removing one character but while we are coding it we do not know should we remove this character or should we remove this character so what we'll do one by one we will remove both the characters okay so what we'll do let's suppose we first have removed b character so it means the remaining string is this so we will first check whether this string is a palindrome or not okay this is our first case when we have removed b next case is when we have removed a because initially we do not know that which character we should remove so that the remaining string becomes palindrome so first we have removed b and we have checked okay whether this string is a palindrome or not next we will remove a also the first character also and then we will check whether this remaining string is a palindrome or not so in both the cases the first string was double a okay triple a the second string was a a b so we will check both of these strings whether these are palindrome or not even if one returns that okay this is a palindrome so it means by removing one character by removing this b character the remaining string became the palindrome so here in this case it will return true because this is a palindrome and here in this case it will return false that this is not a palindrome so even if we have re we have received one true okay that is by removing b we are able the rest of the string is becoming palindrome so it means we will be returning true that yes this string can become a palindrome okay this was one case now let's suppose we have another case okay let's suppose we had this triple a b a now again we will be following the same approach we will keep the first pointer at the first of uh, first index and the one pointer at the last index now we will compare both these elements whether these two elements are same or not so here you can see the first element is same as the last element that is a so what we'll do we'll simply move towards the next index okay towards the second last index now we will check whether these two elements are same or not so answer is no these two elements are not same so again we have to remove either of these elements first let's suppose we remove b and this is the remaining string okay this is a string remaining we will check whether this is a palindrome or not so answer is yes this is the palindrome next we will be removing a and we will be checking these two remaining strings okay so is this a palindrome answer is no it is not a palindrome so therefore in both of these strings we have we have got one true that okay this double a was a palindrome so answer will be by removing this b we are getting a palindrome and you can see here if that b is removed this is a palindrome that we are getting i hope this is clear to you now let's just try with one more example so that the approach becomes more clear let's just take a b and c and d okay so we are keeping first pointer at a the next pointer at d we i am keeping so a and d are are the same no they are not same so we will move one pointer ahead we will move one pointer ahead is b and c are equal no b and c are also not equal so again we will move this pointer ahead okay this pointer ahead and this pointer again back so now these two pointers have crossed each other and we have not found a suitable way of finding a palindrome so therefore this is not a palindrome okay i hope this thing is clear to you the approach is clear to you if the approach is not clear to you just go back two to three minutes back and again see this approach and it will be definitely clear to you 
Okay. Now let's move towards the coding part of this particular question. Okay. So guys, for saving time, I have already written the code. See, this is the driver code from which the input is getting. First, we are taking the input and then we are calling this valid palindrome function. Okay. We have taken two pointers, left and right. Okay. So left is starting from the zeroth index and R is starting from the last index. Okay. While L is less than R, that element by element will be comparing. If the both these elements, that is the element at the first index and element at the rth index are not same, it means if they are not same, as I told you in the approach, what we'll do? We will remove either of the characters and we will check the remaining string as a palindrome or not. Okay, this is what we will be doing. So we will be first checking whether by removing the lth character, whether the remaining string is a palindrome or not. And similarly, we will be checking by removing the rth character, that is r minus one. So by removing the rth character, is the remaining string a palindrome or not? Okay, so this is the function that is written for checking whether the string is a palindrome or not. And it is a very simple code. You can write the logic for yourself. But the main logic is here that if both the characters are not same, we will check the remaining string by removing both of the character one by one. And you will see here we are using or here. So it means that either if one of these function returns true, it means we can remove at most one character for forming the palindrome. Okay. If this condition is satisfied, if it is not, then we'll simply do L plus one and R minus one. That is, if Lth and Rth characters are same, we will simply do L plus one, R plus one. And in the end, we are returning true. Why we are returning true? Because if every time this condition is, is not satisfied, it means that string is already a palindrome. Therefore, we are returning true. So let's just see with the help of input, ABCD I will be writing here. So ABCD will give us false, okay, in this case. Okay, and now if I will write A, B, C, D, let's suppose C, B, A. Okay, C, B, A. By removing D director, the rest of the string will become palindrome. So let's see, A, B, C, D, C, B, A, will it work? So yes, it is it is returning true. So this particular code is, is fine and it will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. And it is within the time limits also. So the complexity of this code is big O of N. And we are allowed, we were allowed to solve it in O of N log N. So this will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. I hope this question is clear to you. Okay, this was all for this video. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section. And guys, do check out this Infosys DSC SP preparation material. Okay, this material can help you for your last minute preparation. This in this particular material, I have discussed hundred plus previously asked question in this exam. And believe me, this exam is not that easy. The best way to prepare is for checking the previous year questions only, and that is what I am providing here in this material. I've also shown you that the sample also, and you can see here, the, we have given the proper question, proper answer and explanation also. Okay. And it is at a very nominal price of rupees 49. I know you have only two to three days left for your preparation. So please hurry and please check out this previously asked questions for the preparation of your exam. All the relevant links for Telegram group and this material you will find in the description box. Thank you for watching this video.